Developed by Firaxis Games and published by 2K, Marvel's Midnight Suns will be releasing on the PlayStation 5 on the 2nd of December. It's promising a story-driven, turn-based action combat that will be an engaging experience for fans of many popular genres. It's likely that fans of cinematic games like God of War Ragnarok, as well as card-based roguelikes such as Slay the Spire, will be impressed with the mashup of game styles. Marvel's Midnight Suns is a story-driven action game set within the Marvel Universe. The game features an original story where players take control of the titular super team, the Midnight Suns, and work together to stop a new global threat. The game is played from a third-person perspective, and progressing through the stories is a unique cinematic experience that falls somewhere between AA and AAA in its production value. It may be difficult to fully immerse yourself in if you're coming from God of War, for instance, but in isolation, the graphics and the voice acting are more than sufficient. But what about the gameplay? Well, Marvel's Midnight Suns features a unique turn-based combat system. It involves drawing a hand of up to five cards and then playing three of them on each turn. This gives the game an aspect of deck building to it, which I quite enjoy in a game. The deck building aspect of the game isn't as in-depth as many other games such as roguelikes, but it's definitely still integral to the whole gameplay loop. An interesting thing about the gameplay is that it's closely intertwined with the story elements of the game. For instance, cinematic story activities may be the key to unlocking new gear or abilities for your heroes, so it's best for people who love a good story-driven game as well as turn-based action. Customization is one of the many features that make Marvel's Midnight Suns on PS5 so special. You can change the appearance of your characters to match your own personal style, and you can even change which powers and abilities they have. This level of customization ensures that you can always create a team that is perfect for your own play style. So, should you buy Marvel's Midnight Suns? Well, as a full price release on PlayStation, it will cost at least $60 or more for the enhanced or digital plus editions. That's quite a steep price for a game that you don't love. So it's probably best to hold off and see how some of your favorite content creators feel about it if you're unsure. But if you love story driven games, turn based and card based combat systems, and you're a huge fan of Marvel, then perhaps you should snag it right away. Marvel's Midnight Suns comes to PlayStation 5 on the 2nd of December, but if that's too long for you to wait, then why not watch one of our other videos here at 128KB, and we will of course see you next time. <laughs>